morning, everybody, and welcome to our second edition of Falcons and Entertainment. As you may have noticed, we decided to go ahead and change the name from the ACST podcast to Falcons and Entertainment to so that it more, fits more what we're actually doing in this program and in our, and in our project. Uh, I have a lot of future plans for this. Uh, I'm, I'm planning to do a video called Things uh, Seniors Never Say. So we're trying to broaden what we're doing and increase the amount uh, uh, of projects that we're, that we're producing. Uh, I also have a new co-host to replace Lauren from, from last year. This is Enrique. Uh, he's uh, in 11th grade. He's a junior who's just starting his, the IB. And I, I hope that he can take over this project when I graduate next year. <clears throat> so uh, here with me, I also have uh, Ahmed and Martin, who are seniors with me. Uh, and, uh, uh, and they planned the cast project alongside Andrea, Andrea Vella, who is not uh, here in the podcast. Uh, and they're going to be talking about their cast project, which is the Mghira Disabled Center, and they're going to be telling us about how it went, uh, along with other things. Uh, and so uh, I'm going to start off, I'm going to start asking you guys questions now. So can you introduce yourselves and introduce your project briefly? So uh, this project was an initiative by me, Ahmed Neji, Martin Weiser, and Andrea Vella. And... Uh, since we didn't have any cast projects, we decided to uh, to come up with this Mghira Disabled Center project and lead this initiative uh, to help the Mghira Disabled Center with uh, school supplies, monetary uh, funds, and uh, help uh, develop a long-term sustainability uh, impact on their center. So we went there after collecting students from our school and we, um, and we helped uh, plant seeds there. So they have something to sell when the plants grow up, uh, so when, when the trees grow up. Mm -hmm. uh, what encouraged us to plan this project was, well, like I said, we didn't have any uh, gas <laughs> projects for one. Yeah. And uh, secondly, Ms. Uh, Mubarak told us that the school had this connection with the Mrira Disabled Center for, uh, for so many years, and uh, no one, uh, no one did anything or communicate with the Mrira Disabled Center for a while. So we decided to take that initiative and see what they need, especially uh, during these times of uh, the COVID nineteen mm -hmm. and the pandemic. We, it's obvious that they need more help than the usual. So, uh, us three we teamed up and we decided to lead this uh, project for this year. Yeah, I think it's really interesting how you guys talk about the tie between like mm -hmm. the Mahira Disabled Center and ACST and how it's been going on and how we saw when we went down to, because I was with you guys when we went down to the center, we saw how for years now there has been this connection between ACST and the Mahira Disabled Center and I think it's great that you guys uh, tied that, uh, brought that tie back and I hope that they uh, continue to do that in the future because it's really great what you guys are doing to help them down there and I know that they it has a great significance on an impact on them, so mm -hmm. yeah. All right, guys, and what was, like, the hardest or most difficult part about, like, organizing this whole project? Um, I'd say definitely getting all the monetary donations in as well as getting school supply donations. Mm -hmm. uh, because we went, before the before we went, actually went to the center, I think uh, a week before we started uh, waiting in the hallways and uh, tried to promote our event and promote the, the project. And at the beginning, it was quite hard to get, like, people to donate or actually yeah. get people to pay attention mm -hmm. to the project. Uh, but the more days that we were there after school, the more people knew about it, and uh, by the end we got quite a lot of donations, uh, which then helped us uh, buy the certain supplies that we needed to go there. All right, that's good, that's good. And uh, how much money did you raise at the end? Uh, I think at the end it came out to be about 800 dinars, 800. Yeah. and yeah. we spent most of it on the on the seeds and the supplies that we donated in the end. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. That's great. And uh, do you guys both feel like you had like a significant impact on the people down at the center? Like, could you see were they, were they like happy with the with the contributions made? Yeah. Like the so when we were planning this project, we were hoping for a short term uh, outcome and a long term uh, goal. And uh, if we look at the short term outcomes, we went there. We uh, communicated with the with the people at the center. They had fun. We had fun. We also got to collaborate with uh, another Tunisian club. Uh, and so uh, if we look at those results, we can 
we can say that it was a successful cast project in that sense and that everyone enjoyed themselves mm -hmm. and that was one of our initial goals and also if we look at the long-term goal of uh, this environmental sustainability like aspect of it we did plant uh, quite a lot of seeds and uh, hopefully that helps uh, the center environmentally but also uh, financially as uh, they can sell uh, whatever they gain from that mm -hmm. and let's not forget the school supplies that they needed and um, and that will help the students uh, succeed or improve in their uh, educational mm -hmm. journeys. Yeah, I like how you talk about like uh, the environmental part of it, uh, uh, like uh, the whole idea of planting seeds, planting trees, I think it kind of has a metaphoric value to it, uh, saying how you're planting roots for, for the future so that you can continue to help them in the future okay? and hopefully ACC will continue to yeah. try to help the Mujeres Disabled Center. Uh, and so our last question, uh, are there any stories or anecdotes that you would like to share about this experience, like any fun stories that happened along the way through the process or planning of it? Um, so at the end, uh, we actually, after we're done planting the trees and giving mm -hmm. over the donations, uh, we actually decided we should probably do some activities with them. Mm -hmm. So first we started off by doing like a dance with them yeah. uh, about like the environment and how uh, trees grow and like the natural life cycle. Uh, it was quite fun to, to dance yeah. with the with the kids and like interact with them. And then after that, we also wanted to do some, some other uh, activities. So we decided to play a game of football mm -hmm. uh, with, mm -hmm. with the kids there, but as well as uh, the Lions Club. Uh, and it was really fun. We, we had a fun game. We had some mixed teams, uh, Lions Club, ACST, and then the kids there. Uh, and we managed to have a really good game. Mm -hmm. Sadly, though, I think ACST lost at the end, mm -hmm. even though uh, you actually scored a really nice free kick Thank you. Yeah. Uh, in the middle of the game. Thank you. But sadly, that wasn't enough for, for that game, but yeah. it was yeah. really fun to play with everyone. Uh, yeah. Being a part of the project, it was really fun to come. It was a really nice experience and uh, like a heartwarming experience to be giving. And also, like as you said, the fun of the dancing and the game. So like it was, you guys did a good job with this project. Um, and so that concludes our, our episode. But before going, I want to remind people about the uh, giving trees that there are around the school now to take some, to also give back like these two and Andrea are doing in their cross project because it's important to always be thinking about giving back. Uh, and so, yeah, thank you guys for coming on. Yeah, Enrique, thank would you, you like to say anything like concluding remarks? Like, Well, nothing much. Just thank you for, for listening. Yeah, thank you, Andrea and Ahmed, for coming and also for... Uh, for organizing this whole project. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, pretty much that's really it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thanks. That's Martin. <laughs> Martin. I said Andrea. Yeah. Cool. Hello, I want to thank everybody for watching and I want to encourage uh, people to continue the Mahida Disabled Center project in the upcoming years at ACSC. And I want anybody who wants to promote their cast project to contact me to come on to the uh, Falcons Entertainment in order to promote the project. Thanks for watching.